Good afternoon, everybody. This is Christina from The Beauty of Paint, and welcome to our uh, Mother's Day paint project with the um, funding uh, from the Children and Families Commission. So I want to start off by saying thank you to the Children and, Family, Children and Families Commission of Sutter County for their kind um, donation and creation of these bags for you to share with your um, mothers or uh, someone special in your life that's been part of your life on a daily basis. Um, so what we're going to work on today is uh, this little uh, watercolor uh, done with a plastic bag, uh, some watercolor paper that's pre-printed, should be in your bag. Um, you'll have a paintbrush, you'll have some uh, colored pens, um, and then you'll have a frame that's in a little plastic container you want to, or a plastic piece you want to pull that apart. And then you'll also want to make sure that you save that. That is for the back of this. This is what holds your frame up so that you can use it. That's the stand so that it stands up for you. So make sure not to lose that. So to get started, we're going to, uh, oh, and you should also have a little bottle of water and some sandpaper. I will be using that sandpaper later on if you want to. You don't have to. Um, if you have an, hopefully you have an adult with you that's helping you. There's this little silver thing right here at the top, this little clip that holds your, your picture. You're gonna wanna lightly or gently turn this off to the side. If it's a little bit harder, get that to the adult to do. Um, we do wanna talk about um, art and having a good time. Um, so art is to be taken um, not so seriously. Uh, but do remember this is a gift for your parents so uh, but i do want you to have a good time this is not about the perfection of it um this is about having a having a good time and enjoying yourself but also there is a little bit of a balance because this is a gift so do take your time um you'll want to start with your brush that looks like this you will want to get it wet damp and you're going to dry it off on your paper towel um you should have some white paint in the container so have some white paint, some gold paint, and some the other stuff is glitter paint. Um, I think it'll have a G on the container or a, a W on the other one. Um, and so what we're gonna start with is we're gonna pick up the paint on our brush, the white paint, and we are going to cover this whole thing. Uh, we're working from side to side on this piece. Um, if it's not going on super smooth, you can add a little bit of water. You don't wanna add a lot. Uh, you can turn your brush long and thin to get in these crevices right here. And I do my edges. If you don't want to, you don't have to. You should not have any gl gloppy or lumpy paint on here. If you, if you do, you're using too much paint. So I'm running my brush long and thin into these crevices. Again, you may need to pick up some more water as you go. That's okay. Um, these classes are done on uh, YouTube. So if you need to rewind them or take your time as you go uh, and rewatch them, you absolutely pause them. You absolutely can. You might want to watch out for little nails in the back or little splinters just because. But I do usually sand these at the end because I like the distressed edges, so I don't sand them first. If your paint is not going on as smoothly as you would like, uh, again, dampen your brush each time that you put it in the water. Do make sure that if you have a ton of extra water that it gets wiped off onto here. And I'm gonna paint around the outside of this as much as I possibly can. And you wanna make sure that you're going with the grain of the wood. So this way, long in the, this, this long way. What we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, finish this off and then we're gonna set it aside 
we're going to work on our, our watercolor. Um, I, I did do mine in uh, several layers uh, because I wanted my flower to be darker. Um, if you don't want it to be darker, you can just do it in that one layer, layer or if you don't want to wait for it to dry in between um, times, you can uh, not do that. Um, I do want to talk really quickly about the power of positive thinking. And if you're doing this with someone else, um, reminding uh, your child or the person that you're doing this with, what a good job that they're doing. Um, art can be sometimes frustrating. And trying something new is very uncomfortable. So uh, turning off the inner negative voices in your head or encouraging someone may make all of the difference in their day and yours. So again, that's covered fully with the white paint. We're gonna set that aside to let it dry. Um, if you're not using your brush, it could look like this. It should be in the water. I'm gonna put mine in my water and rinse it off. I'm gonna give it a good hard twist in the bottom of the container. That's gonna get it clean. Um, you will wanna have a container with some water set aside. And when I'm done, then I'll just wipe it out. Set it down to dry. Um, and next, you're gonna to wanna to have some kind of a hard surface that's protected. Uh, the paint is acrylic uh, that we used on here. If you do happen to get it on your clothing, uh, do feel encouraged to know that will most of the time come off. It is permanent, uh, but you would want to use either uh, Dawn Ultra and Spot Remover or just Dawn Ultra itself. Uh, it works very nicely to remove our uh, boo-boos that we get on there. Um, and uh, so we're going to go ahead and start this little part of the project. Um, I am going to take and I'm going to lay my, this down so you can kind of see it hopefully. I'm going to lay my piece down here. Actually, I'm going to pull this up maybe a little bit and then come down over the top of it. Hopefully it's self-adjusting there. So we're gonna take and lay our plastic bag over the top. Um, those of you who are adults that might be helping, um, this is an image that is exactly the same going both sides. So uh, it was done, I, I drew it uh, via my iPad and so it's drawn um, exactly the same way on both sides. So. When you flip the bag over, if you've done any kinds of images where you're flipping things over, um, it will actually meet up with that shape here. Um, so we are going to start with our background and I chose a pastel color. Um, I, I happen to like pink and purple. Um, it's again, whatever color uh, you would like it to be. You do wanna think about um, complementary colors and not putting those two together. Uh, because you will get brown. Uh, I do encourage you to remove black from uh, black and brown from your child's palette of color uh, pens, pens and pencils because you won't be able to see what's going on behind it. Um, but you should have pink and I believe there's purple in there. So I am going to loosely color in uh, around this piece. And it can be done in several uh, sessions. It does not have to be done um, and very, very loosely, it doesn't have to be done in one, one shot. Uh, put a little bit here. This does travel a little bit. So um, that's my pink. And it even is sort of hard to see. It's so loose here. And then I'm going to uh, go with my purple. And maybe you can see that a little bit better. So super loose. I'm gonna go with a little more pink here just for a second. And it does move around a bit, so don't feel like you have to. Um, and then I'm gonna uh, work with my green and my red. I'm gonna do my green where my leaves would be, kind of in that general area. It doesn't have to be perfect. And 
And then now um, do a little bit of yellow uh, towards the center of my flower. And we talked about complementary colors earlier. Uh, so complementary colors are red and green, uh, blue and orange, and purple and yellow. And those tend to make sort of brown when you put them together. So you want to be aware of not putting those colors together. And you may want to do uh, your green completely separate from your red, now that I'm thinking about this as we do this process. We'll see what happens. Um, so that's what it looks like prior to me uh, putting the water on it. So you're going to take your spray bottle with uh, just water in it. And you're going to generously spray this. And you can do this more than one time. So if you want it darker or lighter, um, you will just do it another time. So I'm going to uh, spray this pretty heavily so that it's got water uh, beaded up on it. You can kind of see that water's beaded up now. I'm going to flip it over and uh, make sure that the flower aligns um, if you want that to align. So you can kind of see the bag itself there with the colors on it. Then I'm going to uh, align that flower and press it out. Give it a quick rub. And like magic, you have a watercolor. Um, you will want to have a little tissue or towel available um, if you've got too much running. So you'll want to uh, blot it along the edges here. And then actually we'll also create some additional um, texture. So if you uh, wanna change something, you absolutely can. So we're gonna um, set this aside and let this dry for a minute or two. And again, if you want this bolder, do it again. Uh, I'm gonna lightly blot off some of the extra here. We'll set that aside and let it dry. Um, so this is kind of buckled and that's okay. So when we're done with it, um, if you have a access to a, an iron, um, you'll simply want to spray the backside of it with some water, put a little towel down, not on a wood surface that you or is protected, is laminated, but um, something that is a, like a, would be like an ironing board, but, but um, with a little more pad, with less padding. So you put a, an old piece of masonite down if you have something or a piece of wood that you don't care about um, or something that can take the heat. Uh, because if you put it on wood with the, just a towel in between it, it'll probably ruin the wood, a finished wood. So I'm gonna set this aside, let it dry. And I'm gonna also um, wipe off my bag so that I can use it again. So simply wiping it off. And then when it comes time to uh, reapply that color that I want more red in, then I will have a nice clean surface for that. So now I'm gonna come back over here and um, I want to add a little gold to my project. So that's gold paint and then the glitter is on top. So we'll do that after the gold, once it's dry. So um, I'm gonna take this and set this aside. And we're gonna come back to our project here. And we're going to, uh, I need another paper towel here. So I'm gonna set this aside. And you're gonna go back to your brush that looks like this. And I'm gonna use my brushes that I keep around here. So I'm gonna pick up some of that gold paint like this. And I'm going to start from this edge. I can wipe off the extra that I have on here so that it's not lumpy or glumpy because I'm just doing the edge and I'm just lightly brushing in from the edge. You wanna go all the way across. 
anytime you pick up more paint, wipe off that extra. And I typically pick up paint from both sides. So this, this um, gold paint helps to make it look a little more distressed without actually spending a ton of time sanding and a ton of effort. And I'm gonna come up the center here with this one. If you wanna do that, kind of get some in that crevice. And I'm gonna come back. The other way. And the amount of gold that you put on here is personal. It doesn't have to have a ton. It doesn't have to have any. You prefer not to do it. That's fine too. So I have a little bit of gold all over. Um, and then throw this in the, my brush. I'm gonna put that in the water to rinse. And if you can, and it's not too wet, if it's too wet, don't do it now, but I'm gonna do it because it's not super, super wet. And I'm gonna turn this around and lift it up a little bit gently because I wanna make sure that um, I don't uh, scratch the surface underneath. And I am going to quickly rinse out my brush and uh, put that uh, white, fill in that white spot. and let that dry. I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna come back to my watercolor. So as you can see, um, the red is a little bit lighter uh, and, and it's not as yellow as this other. It's still a little bit damp in spots. Um, but what I'll do is I'm gonna blot this, make sure my paper towel is clean and kind of blot the extra. because It's pretty dry most of the way. And I'm, I'm comfortable with the uh, background, the way it looks, it's nice and soft. But I want my flower a little bit redder uh, or more yellow or more, more yellow in my uh, leaves. So uh, what I will do is I'm gonna do another layer. So again, we're gonna start right back over we're gonna uh, lay this right over the top to make sure that our that our plastic bag is dry still. We're gonna lay this over the top and we're gonna, so we can see where we're at with this. And I do wanna have some more yellow in the center here. And I wanna add some yellow to my greenery here. So I'm gonna put some yellow in there. And then I'm gonna go back over to here and I'm going to uh, work on my red. And if you feel like this isn't red enough for the next time, um, then let it dry in between and you can do it again. But uh, if, it, it's, if you think it looks okay, then leave it alone. Uh, when people start taking it too far, that's when you start having problems. And so just this bottom edge here. And then do this pretty good here. So that's what it looks like now. A little splotchy, right? Come back in with my water, give it a good spritz there at the bottom. You can kind of see that pulled up a little bit. I'm gonna flip it over and line that up with my poppy again at the bottom there. So kind of just hold it so it doesn't flop on top of it. Lay it down. Give it a little press. In those areas where we want that color. And peel it back off. Now it did go over. So if I'm a little not liking that, I can with my damp paper towel, uh, give it a quick little dab here. You don't want to wait and let it sit because it won't, uh, it'll, won't, it'll stay there and it won't come off. 
So once you dab it, it kind of just picks up that extra color. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm liking that. So I'm gonna leave that and let it dry. You set it aside, pick up my baggie in case I decide I wanna do it again. Um, watercolors do tend to dry uh, a little bit lighter. So if you're thinking that you want it uh, nice and bold, then you might wanna do it one more time. But again, my bag is nice and clean. I'm ready to be used again if I want to. Um, by now, if I have any extra paint on here that's not dry, I can use my little finger and kind of rub the ed edges around. It should be fairly dry. If it's not, you're probably used a little bit too much paint. You, you can always use your blow dryer if your child um, needs that instant gratification. I can use extra stuff that I picked up here along the edge that's not dry and kind of lay it in here if I want to where I repainted. So it looks like so. I'm make sure my brush is good and rinsed out. We're gonna go back to that um, big brush again. My brush is clean. We're gonna go back to this, this brush again. Sorry, there's a glare in here today. Let me turn it this way. There's less, less glare. You can do it on my lap. So we have our frame. And uh, we're going to use our, our glitter glue. I don't know if you can see the glitter in there as it reflects back and forth. I'm going to pick it up on the edges. And um, I'm just going to brush it in from the edges. You don't have to have glitter all over here if you want. It's just meant to be a little bit at a time. Try not to get it on your um, metal piece here. And you do want to wait just to put your um, piece of art on this until this is dry because it will stick and uh, not come on. Be All right, so we have our glitter on here. It will dry uh, clear, but you can kind of see it where it's starting to dry. It does have a white look when you, a white look when you first put it on, but it does dry glittery. I'm gonna set that aside, put my brush in my water, and then I'm gonna look at my painting here. Um, I can also bend it a bit with my fingers back this way to flatten it out as well. And it looks pretty darn good. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, once it's dry, um, you can add a bit of glitter to it. Uh, do be aware it might lift the color up, so be very gentle in the amount of glitter that you add to it. Um, but I think it looks pretty good. Uh, another thing that you could possibly do, if you wanted to create more um, drama in the background, you could try adding a touch of water and see what it does. Um, it may be too late, but it does sometimes add a little bit of extra. You can, you might, I don't know if you can do that or not. There's a little bit of extra water beaded up there and it looks really pretty. And that's from that extra little spray. So we're gonna get this to dry. I'm gonna walk over and use the blow dryer. I'm gonna put you guys on mute so you aren't deaf. Okay, so this is what the dried image looks like. Um, again, if you want a little bit of glitter, you can use the brush. Um, wipe this off. Use your little brush. You can add a little bit of glitter here to the edges or to the centers and set it aside and let it dry. So like I said, it does have a white, uh, bits to it, but it does dry clear while that's drying. And see, it's pretty flat. I kind of started it out as I blew it dry. So then now I have this and I blew this dry as well. And I do have some rough edges and I included some uh, sanding paper in there 
and you can kind of give it a quick little rub on the edge. I kind of take away those extra little um, fibers if you want to. Make sure you don't pick up too much gold or too much of the um, glitter. This also helps if you have too much paint on there or too much glitter. You may want to do this part outside because it does make a bit of a mess. You do want to make sure that the area you were working in is covered. And if you want to add, uh, want to sand on any of this stuff, you can do that as well. I'm kind of cool with that. Just to stress the edges a bit. There you go. Well, I might do a little bit of that. Because it's well. um, And then you're going to. Put your painting on. There you go. Um, you may even want to, if you want this to stay in, you may want to, since this is this is glue, um, you may want to dip the glitter into or the the, the little uh, dowel into the glitter and use that when you stick it in the hole back in the back, and that will uh, help it stay better. You can always save that for later as well. Let's just set that down. Let me rearrange you. So make sure that you're wishing your mother a happy Mother's Day. And again, thank you to the Children and Family Commission for making this project possible. Uh, and again, I'm so thrilled that you guys could have come. You've joined us at the Beauty of Paint. And uh, we got to um, paint and be a little socially distant, but we actually get to do a fun project together, so we don't always have to be together. Um, and I hope you all have a wonderful uh, weekend. Thank you. Bye-bye.